the price of speaking up in Russia today. Vladimir Karamuza handed 25 years in jail for treason and other charges thanks to his criticism of the war in Ukraine. The outspoken Kremlin critic was arrested two months after Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. He called the government a regime of murderers and accused them of war crimes. His sentence is the longest to be handed down since the war began. Karamuza's lawyer said for her client, this was the highest praise. When he heard about the 25 years, he said, my self-esteem has grown. I realized that I did everything right. This is the highest reward for what I've done, what I believed in as a citizen and patriot. Karamuza was a key figure in lobbying the United States to pass the 2016 Magnitsky Act, which allows the U.S. to sanction foreign government officials for human rights offenses. And he has known the risks of opposition politics in Russia only too well. In, the past two years. in 2015, his friend, the former deputy prime minister, Boris Nemtsov, was assassinated in central Moscow. Karamoza himself narrowly survived poisoning on two occasions. The longtime Putin critic lived partly in Washington, but decided he had to return to Moscow to continue his fight, despite warnings from his friends. The last time I saw him in March uh, 2022 in Berlin, he told me that he has to come back to Russia because his place was among the Russian people. And he, he considered that it was not possible for him uh, to criticize Putin's regime from abroad. He had to come back and to share basically the, 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 the fight. Karamoza's sentence has drawn criticism from NGOs and Western powers. The United States and United Kingdom denounced it as a move to silence dissidents and called for his immediate release.